Okay, so here's my C22, damn near maxed. I've been collecting mineral, waiting for the right moment. My farms are two are starting to 18. This one and this one are cooking to 18. This one and this one will start 18 tonight or tomorrow. And then these will follow um, a few hours after these two. Um, and then I have these two that are just purely steel and oil. Um, I just farm steel all the time with them. So I can burn those regularly. And then I got six going to 20. And then these will be just food and oil. And that's my little keep me going set up. So I'm kind of sitting back right now. Um, a lot of people are pushing. They're getting 23 and 24 except for the one guy that spends like crazy. Um, shit. Commander. Dave Colley. He's uh, City 28. I can't imagine the amount of money he's spending. I mean, a ton. Um, anyway, as soon as these are finished to 20... It's going to be just, I'll have more resources than I need, and I'll just be back-to-back -back timers. Gold hammer, two builds at a time, and all my research is pretty high. Um, I have some of the best stats, I think, probably in the whole realm. Anyway, formation. This is what I'm setting up here. See, I got my T8 snipers. I use one of everything else. See, these launchers are, are, they die, okay? Just like the uh, miniguns, the specialist gunner launchers are mid-range and they get lit up. Um, shredders get lit up. Bikes die like crazy. The heavy armed soldiers, they're, they're great, but they die like crazy. Lasers, they die probably about a 2% per attack so if you send them every time you're gonna run out of them infantry are useless um the blaze tanks they have a great defense you can send a few of those and then i send all back line and one of everything else stormtroopers suck advanced shielders i haven't really noticed a benefit to them um and then the rest of my preset which i don't know i the reason that I have one of each of these is in case I don't have one of each uh, of top tier. But normally I keep one of each figure. So here I am with the 386 BP March, right? If, all right, and if I do a group attack, I will send my lasers because everybody else will. So you lose less of them. Um, you can fill T3, uh, to cover T1 and T4 to cover T2 and so on. See, that makes a huge difference, those lasers. Um, but the issue is that the lasers have nothing to cover them, okay? The only thing that I've noticed that would cover them is war bikes. But then if you send the war bikes, you lose them. So the only way to eliminate a constant losses is by coverage, of which I show with the T1 cannons covering the T7 cannons and the T2 snipers covering the T8 snipers. Um, there is... It's the, mid-range on this thing um it doesn't pay off they get lit up so here's uh i want to see something where's that guy at? i hit a guy just to fucking do it just to see what would happen. The immortal. Admin. See, I only lost 2,000, right? How, how did I lose snipers like that? 
I didn't have enough sea survivors and losses. You need a couple thousand of each. All right, the cannons, um, because if the battle goes on long enough, you'll run out of your meat. But still, 2,000 kills, um, 2,000 losses with 40,000 kills. Can't beat that, and the majority of the losses would, are t T1, T2. Um, 77k. It's got the T3 in it. 47, that's T5. But still, if you look at another report, when somebody sends their setup, they're losing a ton more. See, zero losses at the 10,000 kills, zero losses. 25,000 kills. Then I got some losses on my T2 snipers and some wounded. Some losses on my T1. All I gotta do is keep replacing them T1 and T2. Um, and shit, if I if I just recruit one of every of these odd troops, um, just recruit one time, I don't know, a week or a month, don't do my backline and just do alternate one of every troop. I'll never run out of them if I send one in each battle. But uh, that's, you know, that's how I'm doing it as of right now. Um, backline prominent. I uh, skill my lord for uh, commander for backline stats. I'll do another video on my commander updates. Thanks for watching, y'all.